end of the flight, calories start to get depleted, adrenaline's probably about wearing off, you're starting to get dehydrated. Uh, hopefully you're feeling great, we'll see how you're feeling, and you'll no longer be rested. So for all those reasons, you're gonna have to work harder at the end of the flight to pull the same G's that you would have had to pull at the beginning of the flight, if that makes sense. Yeah. Two little bars right here on the sides, we call them towel bars. Looks like you can just hang two hand towels on them. That's gonna be an awesome place to put your hands and kind of stabilize your, your body when you do those rolling maneuvers. But again, cockpit's gonna be a little bit tight when you get in there, but once you get strapped in, you'll be plenty comfortable. You can move around. A lot of maneuvering, and then all of a sudden you're straight and level flying, like your brain's kind of catching up to you. So it's usually that time where they get sick coming back to land. And so um, what you'll do is you'll basically put those two together, and it's gonna look like this. So try that for me. Good. Good. Perfect. You ready for the next maneuver? Ready. Let's All go. Right. Get in that good bye position. All right. Here we go. Big deep breath. Start your squeeze. One, two, three. One, two, three. There's an oxygen system we have on board. Basically controls air and oxygen up to your mask while you're flying. Attack while we're up there. What happens if you do pass out? So say your vision is going. Which means a full set of lungs. So full big deep breath of air in the lungs and then squeeze in our chest to push that blood from the chest up to the brain. Place 90 either left or right and I'll let you know it's coming uh, and it'll be a 90 degree turn for four to five G's and that's just to kind of kind of bring forth what the doc told you in terms of your G awareness, your three second breathing and just kind of hey this is what G's feel like okay. Uh, that'll be followed by a 180 degree turn that's now up to 5 to 6 G's. And again, we're just kind of going through the motions there, and it's a little bit of a warm up for the day that's, uh, that's coming up. Shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, I can talk you through the entire thing so that you can tell that you know, it feels like a lot, but you know, it's, it's just fine. Uh, and then we'll then place 90 left or right, uh, and then I'll pass you the lead for the photo chase uh, maneuvers. Uh, we'll talk to that at China Lake, 8 and 26 is closed, 3 and 21 is closed, and it is gusty winds there, 210, 22, gust 31, broken at 11. So I think it's going to be a high deck that uh, we'll just work below, okay. um, so we'll watch out for that. So what Cheetah is going to do, could you grab the uh, other stick out there? Inverted to inverted, meaning you're upside down, we'll roll right side up, but then continue to roll back upside down, and continue for about like a mile like that. So we're going to get a nice good amount of airspeed, about the same amount that we used for the vertical pull there. I'm going to say, all right, it's going to be a 90 degree turn, or just, it's going to be a turn to the left. Okay, I'm going to roll this up, I'm going to light the afterburner so you'll feel that. I'm going to say, here come the G's, and it'll be a pretty smooth application up to about 7 G's, and then I'm going to increase it from 7 to 9. It's going to be pretty short, so this is kind of like a short duration, high intensity kind of, you know, and that's 7, 7, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, and then we're done. Okay? Uh, and that's the time where you want to make those good three-second exchanges with your breathing, tensing up your legs, your butt, and your stomach uh, to keep the lights on upstairs. All right? Uh, so that'll be good. What this is going to be, and this is a pretty high G one, we're going to get a pretty good amount of airspeed here. So we're talking, you know, 550, 600 mile an hour type of thing. And it's going to be a 6 to 7 G pull straight vertical. And then once the nose is purely vertical, we're going to roll to the left. Uh, and as we go up, okay? Smoke and roll off. And I'll say, hey, Jerry, look out the left side of the window. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull this sucker in the front seat. And what that's going to do is immediately blow the canopy off, and that should start the ejection sequence. If that doesn't work, what I'm going to basically say, is, hey, Jerry, man, you got to pull that T handle if mine doesn't work. Okay, I'll be very plain English about it. Uh, so that for the, uh, for the T handle there. Again, this is like emergency on top of emergency. Have you actually ejected the nope. practice of that? So no, you I don't want just, to either. It's so. just all theory. <laughs> yep. I didn't yeah. know if there was a way you could practice that. Uh, there, in pilot training, there's like a, they'll like send you up a, a couple of rails, uh, but it is nothing compared to what I've heard is the real thing. So it, is the real thing cool. hairy? Uh, I imagine so, but it's one of those things where by the time you know what's going on, you're under the canopy and... Right. Uh, and feet on the rudder pedals. Feet on the what? On the rudder pedals. Those will be, uh, when you get out there, the pilot will show you kind of around all the different egress things in the aircraft, and the rudder pedals will be right okay. there, so you'll have your just the tips of your toes on them. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, pretty big. It's about the size of this table. And, and that, you know, about this wide. I'm going to twist this. Uh, what does that even mean? What's the canopy? <laughs> Your face is all... This, like I said, stop me if we're going too fast or uh, you're recovering too much. But that would be one of the 
uh, malfunctions that okay. you could run into. I, I'm not going to ask a question because I'm going to presume this is not going to happen. I am listening, yeah. but I'm thinking if this happens, it's going down the way it's going to go down. <laughs> I'm not going to have much bearing on the outcome. <laughs> and, and, keep, and keep in mind, the most important thing that you're going to want to do is be in a good position for coming down. In 28-foot canopy, you're still going to get... Yeah, you know, you're still gonna get some air under there. You're still gonna be just fine. So, they are in charge of the other um, other bases. They kind of I don't know if put the correct thing on it, but they're in charge of um, that. Everyone falls into. So you have Air Mobility Command, which is in charge of all the cargo. So getting yeah, like no big. Place. Like, it's just sticking in show it, like Air Force One and, and all yeah. that. So it was funny. Well, it was interesting because I didn't expect that. It just it was funny that it was like in the trailer. Yeah. But we were... We and then on the side here, this is uh, the bayonet receivers. This is where the mask connects here. So it'll go in in three clicks, right? Just like that. Okay. From here to here now. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so it looks like you're a medium wide. So I have you put it on just like a regular helmet, pull it apart, roll it from the back to the front, and then we'll make the adjustments. You said roll it from the back to like this? Yes, sir. Just like that. Is that feeling snug? And then from there. Quick click, hold it on your face. Then I'm gonna strap this up for you, and then I'll have you find the uh, mask on the le on the right side. Remember, just the right side. Perfect. If you need to try that maneuver, just let me know. Just take your time, get a feel for it, and then we can move on to the next um, thing we got. There you go, perfect. Remember, not too, not too much. I fit you to the three setting. Up, down. Good. Got it. <laughs> Hold it there. We'll uh, clip these in three clicks, and then I'll adjust here, and uh, I'll tack these down when we get a good seal. From there, you won't be able to make adjustments to these because they'll be tacked down. So for whatever reason, you do need to remove it. Just push, pull up here, and slide it up. If you want to give that a shot now. And why would you need to remove Again, we'll talk about that here uh, later on in the training. Mm -hmm. This will help you with a lot of stuff, too. Yes, sir. Because when I remember going through this, I was like, ooh, it's going to be a lot to... There's a lot of training. But they'll yeah. help you out when you're in there. Yeah, I, again, I'm. what I'm really worried about is just being able to keep that formation tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> so <laughs> it's going to be rough, sir, but I think you're going to be able to do it. Yeah. Okay. It says it jacked right? You would never do that. <laughs> you would never do that. Ben, if you were ejecting, would you do that? No, or, sir. No. No, sir. You would not. And we'll talk about that here in a moment.
Stand by. Smoke, smoke on ready now. Smoke on ready now. Seven on the roll. All right, here we go, Jerry. Here comes the afterburner. Should feel it right about there. Already at 100 knots. Okay. The six one Delta be part to your discretion. Lift off there. Get the gear coming up. Six one Delta be part to your discretion. There's 300 knots. Coming up on 350. There's 400. And here come the G's. That wasn't so bad, you crushed it already. Oh my god, that's the best thing I ever did in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Archer, god. Seven is airborne. We're leveling VFR at 8,500 oh. for weather. Alright, we're going to do vertical rolls now, okay? Okay. So, get us some nice airspeed here. Find a nice spot right up on top of us. About ready to go. It's going to be a good pull on the Okay, so we can one. Yep. Okay. Okay, here we go. We're going to roll to the left. All right. Now, if you look over your left shoulder, You'll see our smoke a little bit. Yeah. Way off to the left there. Where? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, do you want to pull any more jeans or are you done for the day? No, I wouldn't mind pulling more jeans. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Where is he? I don't know. Oh, there he is. Oh, yes, oh, yeah, Okay, we're going to be rolling to the left. Alright, here we go. Pull the power up. Feeding in the G's here. Good G strain. Bingo. Hang in Bingo. There. There's six. Keep hanging in. Good G strain. You're doing good. Almost done. You're almost there, Jerry. There we go. Keep enough. Oh! Oh! It's Joker. Come on, Joker. Oh. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, that one's a workout. Yeah. Ah.
So anyway, I just uh, flew with the United States Air Force Thunderbirds. Uh, basically, just had the best time of my life. We did a, a, a maximum climb on takeoff. I experienced 9.4 Gs. We did all the maneuvers that they do in their um, demonstrations. We did aileron rolls, barrel, barrel rolls. We did uh, 360s. Um, I'm probably making stuff up now, but we did a lot of a lot of stuff. All I know it was it was intense, and it was amazing, and it was bordering on spiritual. Man, I, I had the best time. Um, it's really just like holding on. It gets super intense. Um, and at the same time, I wanted to try and film some of it. So I was trying to do the stomach clenches, hold it on, and film, and try and get the other pilot in his plane, but also trying to enjoy the moment. There's a couple of times I put the phone down and just said, you know, i got to just experience this. But it's this. It, it's, it gets a little scary at times, you know. It's like, well, hold on, and we, especially the... the when we went like 9.4 G's, that's that's intense. But that's part of the fun of this. It's not just fun; it's super challenging. But it's awesome. I mean, that's tough because what I was doing there in the F-16 only lasts for a few seconds at a time. When I'm doing those rolls, it's months at a time. But when you get to the extremes of what I was just doing, it doesn't get more intense than that. When we are you know, pulling some of those moves and you are clenching and you are, you're holding on for dear life that's pretty extreme no I just had I just had the, a great time and, the, and I have to say what really struck me was how lovely and humble the crew are and how appreciative you know and my pilot Kev um, was just amazing but everybody today has been fantastic that's been part of the joy is just how nice they've all been how much time they've given and how excited they were, which made it all the more exciting for me. It wasn't just a uh, year, then you come do this. They were all just really positive and warm and it's part of the beauty of it.